the message is uh, to the caucus leadership of Southeast and Anambra State as follows. Number one, Secretary South Regional Caucus is now Honorable Pascal Abodike. And the Anambra State Caucus leader is now Honorable Victor Afem, Afem Funa Ogene. This is with immediate effect. The second announcement is in respect to invitation to Iftar, which is breaking of the first. Uh, I have the pleasure to invite honorable members of the House of Representatives to join me at Iftar breaking of fast from 6 p.m. daily at my Guzaipe guest house as follows. On Tuesday, which is today, honorable members from the Northwest and the Southeast and principal officers of the House are invited to the Iftar coming up by 6 p.m. Tomorrow, Wednesday, there will be iftar with Mr. President for the leadership of the House, the leaders of the six geopolitical zones, the two regional leaders, the chairman of appropriation and chairman of finance. Uh, all uh, women uh, members, female members, are also part of the invitation. And uh, we are supposed to be at the villa Letters by 5.30 p.m. On Thursday, we also have um, iftar breakfast for honorable members from the North Central and the South South and principal officers of the house, again at my Guzaipi guest house. Uh, on Friday, honorable members from the Northeast and Southwest and principal officers of the house are also invited in the same venue. Um, the next announcement is coming from Honorable Jephtha Poenga, and the message is in respect of our notice of death. The message reads as follows. We, the family of Jephtha Obadia of Nembe Local Government Area of Biles Estate, regret to bring to your notice and the entire house the unfortunate passing on, of our illustrious son, Amiable husband, father, uncle, and astute gentleman, late Honorable Jephthah Poinga, whose sad event, sad incident occurred at the early hours of Thursday, the 14th day of March 2024, after a protracted illness. It is pertinent to mention that late Honorable Jephthah Poinga was a member of the House of Representatives in the 7th and the 8th National Assembly between 2011 and 2019, where he served as the Chairman House Committee on National Planning and Economic Development in the Eighth Assembly. More so as we mourn his passing, we wish to plead with you and the entire members of the House to remember his immediate family that he left behind in prayers. Please, his obsequies would be communicated to the House in due course. In, in due course. Thanks, yours sincerely, Hereta Poenga, Jephtha, wife. Uh, the last announcement is um, notification to members of uh, year 10 students from Nobel Hall Leadership Academy, from Girls JB, for Girls JB, Airport Road who are on a one-week work experience in the National Assembly. Uh, please, can you stand up for recognition? The ladies, uh, the girls from uh, Nobel Hall Leadership Academy, thank you very much. You can sit down. So, distinguished honorable colleagues, shall we rise in honor of our late uh, honorable member, May he so rest in peace.
Any member with a petition? Yes, honorable, provided you will address yourself properly. Mr. Speaker, Your Excellency, Honorable Colleagues, Nam De Zech is my name. I represent Ndokwa Kwani Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker, I'm from Delta State. And by extension, Chairman of OJ Mata Importance, as uh, given to me by Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is a petition here, and this petition is coming from AO Onyenike and Associates against Nigeria Ajipoye Company over the contract breach of OJC Mechanical and Tools Limited for the provision of 10,000 gallons of solar-powered water scheme in Umuleke, Usisa, Ndokwa East Local Government Area of Delta State. Mr. Speaker, with the leave of the House, allow me to lay this petition. Please go ahead. Yes, Honorable Alims. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Distinguished Honorable Colleagues, Abdullah Ibrahim Alims is my name. I'm from Kogi State. I represent the good people of Ankwa, Omala, Lambor, Ofera constituency. Your Excellency, Mr. Speaker, I have a petition on complaint of financial misappropriation and abuse of office against Prince, one Prince Samsudin Adebayo, Apelego, from, from the Chamber of IM Eliasu and Co. Addressed to the Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You grant me permission to lay the petition. Please go ahead. Next. Yes, Honorable, please go ahead. Mr. Speaker, dear colleagues, I'm Honorable Kaleja Adeboye Paul. I represent the good people of Ajiromi, fellow New Federal Constituency, the meaning in Nigeria. I'm from Lagos State, the state of aquatic splendor. I'm here this morning to present a petition from one of my constituents. It's a petition presented by the law firm of Fumi Adeogu and Company, and it's against AMCON about illegal ejection from their residence. And at every attempt to make Ampon to give them succor has failed. My constituent has therefore come before the people's house to seek redress that the house should intervene and restore competition where necessary. I therefore seek the indulgence of the house so allow me to leave this petition. Thank you, the Honorable Speaker, sir. Please go ahead. Yes, Honorable. Your Excellency, the Speaker. Your Excellency, the Speaker, distinguished colleagues, my name is Barrister J.C. Okejo Onakalos. Mr. Speaker and distinguished colleagues, I represent Nigeria, especially the habit of Lagos, Osho de Solo. Mr. Speaker, I have two petitions here, one by O.S. Oyebo, petition addressed to Your Excellency, petition to investigate the smuggling of immigrants, Chinese national by Snow Hydro Engineering, who 110 Chinese that will be discovered that don't have the requisite visa to be in Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, the author of this petition is asking the House to investigate and know why they should be there without following due process. The second one is by Edges Surveyors against for an intervention and justice for the implementation of the report committee of public petition 
against the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation over land grabbing issue. Mr. Speaker, unless I hear by decision taken by this House in the Eighth Assembly, Mr. Speaker, they are coming forward for us to implement the decision of this House. I'm able to add to, you to it. Mr. Speaker and the distinguished colleagues, I hereby seek your leave to leave this petition. Please go ahead. Yes, Honorable. Thank you, His Excellency, the Right Honorable Speaker, and my Honorable Colleagues. My name is Honorable Sato Chukuchinedu Okere. I represent the entire people of Owere North, Owere West, Owere Municipal Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker and my honorable colleagues, I am an Owere man from Imo State. Mr. Speaker, I have this uh, petition from Harmony Partners on behalf of engineers Akelechu Chihara, Maurice Anyang, and also another from uh, Barista Kingdom Okere, and um, same from Nekade Federated Union, and other concerned citizens of the federal constituency on abandoned projects by NDDC and other agents on other agencies in the federal constituency, which includes the Olakwa Road, Naze Obibezena Road, Ezobdema Biam Road, Nakade Road, Rata Road, and the Owere Civic Center located in Owere Municipal. Mr. Speaker, these projects are in a very deplorable state. I therefore ask for your kind approval and the leave of this entire house to lay this petition. Please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues. Mr. Speaker, I rise to present a petition by either to leaders of thought over the inability of oil companies operating in Imo State and the Imoste government to construct the Olo Mbe Umuchima Akwakwa Road one year after former President Mohamed Buhari approved the Road Infrastructure Task Credit Scheme, RITC scheme, to fund the project and call for investigation. With your kind permission, Mr. Speaker, I would like to lay the petition. Please go ahead. Yes, Orobu. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, honorable colleagues. My name is Mark Obeta, member representing Onsoka Igwezi South Federal Constituency from Enugu State. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I have a petition from Nigeria Bar Association, Onsoka Branch, on the grosser murder of our colleague, Barista Elias Ugu, by officers of the Police Area Command in Bakogi State. They are pleading that you use your good office to bring justice to his killers. It is, this uh, petition is signed by Barista Sonny Okoro, the chairman of uh, MBA in Suka branch. Uh, with your leave and the kind permission of the House, I want to lay this petition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Please go ahead. Yes, Honorable. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. My name is Benjamin Adeyemi Olabinjo. I represent good people of Ipakoyitai, constituency from Lagos. Mr. Speaker, sir, I have a petition with me here against National Drug Law Enforcement Agency written by complex solicitor advocate and law and media mediation center. The petition, the petitioner are from my constituency, unlawful invasion of the resident and place of business of Mr. Bayomi Moses Idowu by men of National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, led by ACN Adekunle Oduola, in violation of our client's constitutional rights under the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, sir, the member of NDLA I make it a routine by invading this man's uh, business and his, his, his house every year. They did it to him in the year 2022-2023, and they done it again in 2024. Sir, I will seek your indulgence to lay this petition to the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Please go ahead. Any more petitions? Robin Wake? 
right to the Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, my name is Mweke Felix Uche. I represent the element I know you federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, I have a petition addressed to you, written by John and Obiris Chambers, on behalf of Irege family of Ware against Shell Petroleum Development Company Ware office, denying them of their royalties to them. This petition is signed by Numa O. Irepo Foke, Esquire. We your come permission, sir. Let me let the petition. Thank you. Please go ahead. Honorable Mokere. Sorry. Honorable, please go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, Excellency. Honorable colleagues, Mr. Speaker, I'm here with a petition authored by Professor Fabian C. Okafo of the University of Nigeria, Enugu, addressed to your Excellency. Mr. Speaker, the petition is on a request to revalidate the disposal action on a petition number 545 of 2022 against the University of Nigeria and Soka on the appointment of an unqualified candidate as a university librarian, a request for remedy. Mr. Speaker, may I crave your indulgence to lay this petition? Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Any more petitions? All petitions are referred to the Committee on Public uh, Petition for Further Legislative Action. Honorable Jeremiah Umaru, are you around? Please go ahead and move your motion. Thank you, Excellency. My highly respected colleagues, uh, I rise on a uh, matter of urgent public importance, Order 8 to 5. So, Speaker, recall that uh, I've earlier referred this motion to you, which is on the destruction of schools and displacement of communities in Akwanga and Sarawai Egon. Wamba Federal Constituency as a result of a uh, rainstorm. Your Excellency, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, I seek your consent to proceed with this motion. Thank you. Any seconder to the first leg? Yes, Honorable. You are seconded, right? Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, distinguished colleagues. My name is Idem Unyume, member representing Ukanafun, Orowanam Federal Constituency of Akwaiwam State. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second the motion as moved by my colleague, Honorable Jerry, I so second. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Aye. Those against should say nay. That is a bit. The second leg. The Rock, Peter The Rock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity to second the second leg of the motion. My name is Honorable Peter Anielkwe, representing the good and hardworking people of Anambra East and West. Mr. Speaker, I stand up this morning to second the second leg of the motion, able moved by my colleague, Honorable Jeremiah Moro, that the matter 
is urgent to be heard. I so second. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is a bit. Robulumoru, please proceed. Thank you, Excellency. My highly respected colleagues, Jeremiah Umuru, ACA is my name, and I represent the good people of Akwanga, Nasarawa, Yagonwamba Federal Constituency. I am from Nasarawa State. Uh, the motion is uh, is an um, urgent call to address the destruction and displacement of schools and communities in Akwanga, Nasarawa, Yagonwamba Federal Constituency of Nasarawa State. The House notes that on the 16th day of March 2024, there was a heavy rainstorm which resulted in significant destruction and displacement of communities and schools in Akwanga, Nasarawa, Egon, Awamba, Federal Constituency of Nasarawa State. Also note that the rainstorm which destroyed homes and school, schools has rendered uh, my constituents homeless, disrupted the education of students in these communities, and has put some residents in critical conditions with serious degrees of injuries. Further note that the impact of the rainstorm is such that the displaced members of the communities are in their need of immediate intervention in the form of medical, uh, medical supplies, temporary shelter, and reconstruction to restore the communities to their habitable state. Aware that it is the responsibility of the government to protect its citizens and ensure their well-being, especially in times of crisis. Worried that if urgent measures are not taken to address the high rate of displacement occasioned by the rainstorm, these communities will be susceptible uh, to attacks by hoodlums and kidnappers. The House resolves to, one, urge the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to, as a matter of urgency, provide relief materials to communities, schools, and individuals affected by the rainstorm. Two, urge the National Emergency Management uh, Agency, NEMA, to swiftly uh, initiate uh, the reconstruction of the destroyed schools and rehabilitation of persons affected by the rainstorm. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, mandate the Committee on Emergency and Disaster Preparedness to ensure speedy compliance. I so submit, uh, Your Excellency, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. That is a bit. Honorable, which uh, committee did you re request for referral? Committee on uh, Emergency and Disaster uh, Preparedness. This uh, motion is referred to the Committee on NEMA for further legislative action. Honorable Jimmy Benson, please can you move your motion? Thank you very much, right, Honorable Speaker. Honorable colleagues, I remain Baba Jimmy Benson. I represent the very good people of the Korodu Federal Constituency. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to move a motion of urgent national importance on two issues, Mr. Speaker. One is on the need to investigate and apprehend perpetrators of the gruesome killings of 17 military personnel in Delta State. And the second one is with respect to the abduction of 87 kids in Kaduna. Honorable Jafar would also help me um, expatiate on that. Accordingly, Mr. Speaker, I write to request that our rules be suspended so that these motions can be taken and also to treat it as urgent. I still submit, Mr. Speaker. Any second to the first leg? Honorable Mutu. Thank you, Speaker. Mutu Nicholas Boma is my name. I represent Bomondi Patani Federal Constituency. I'm from Delta State. I rise to second the motion. Heavily moved by my dear brother, Abu Jimmy Benson. I should second. Amendment. Amendment to what? 
So the motion. This is not a state for you to amend. Where 21 is uh, when you let the bit vet and then you can amend. Okay? Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. The eyes have it. The second leg, as chairman, in, um, the, the young shall grow. Thank you, very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues. I remain Honorable Mukhtar Tolani Shagaya, and I represent Nigerians starting from Ilori West as a federal constituency of Kwara State. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second the second leg of the motion as ably moved by Honorable Babajiri Benson. Those in support of this motion should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. Honorable Jimmy Benson, please lead the debate. Thank you. The House notes with deep sadness the kidnap, the abduction of 87 students in Kaduna State yesterday. Honorable Gafa, Jaffa will help expatiate on that, sir. Honorable Jalo. Furthermore, the needless and gruesome murder of 17 military personnel in Delta State on Thursday, 14th March, 2024. The House also notes that the murdered military personnel comprised of Lieutenant Colonel A.H. Ali, who was the commanding officer, 181 Amphibious Battalion of the Nigerian Army, Major S.D. Shafa, Major D.E. Obi, Captain U. Zachary, and 13 other rank and file of the Nigerian military. The House further notes that the fallen soldiers were on a peaceful and mediatory mission to quell communal clash between Okwama and Okoloba communities in Ugeli South and Bomadi local government of Delta State, respectively, when the horrible incident occurred. The House is aware that these military personnel were only responding to a distress call in their service to their fatherland when they were ambushed and killed on the fateful day. The House is distressed that the perpetrators of the heinous act did not only stop at killing this military personnel, but also sacrilegiously debased their remains by ripping out their hearts and other body parts. The House is worried that unless this act is checked and stopped, acts like this by the very people the Nigerian armed forces are meant to protect have the potential of demoralizing the military and affecting the war on insecurity and insurgency, which has so far recorded some huge successes. The House further resolves to urge the House to observe a minute silence for the soul of the military personnel killed in this horrific and barbaric manner, also mandate the security agencies to conduct a thorough and wholesome investigation into the circumstances that led to this heinous, heartless, gruesome, despicable act, and work with the relevant authorities to bring all perpetrators and their collaborators to book. Mandate the House Committee on Defense to interface with the armed forces of Nigeria to ensure compliance and report the House within four weeks. I so move, Honorable Speaker. Honorable um, Oebe. Uh, thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Francis A. Girogane Waebe is my name. And I represent the entire people of Uwele North, Uwele South. And do, I'm from Delta State. I rise to second the motion as ably moved by uh, Honorable Babajibi Benson, Chairman Defense. I so second. Before we put the motion to question, uh, qu uh, the question to members, uh, I don't know whether Honorable Nicholas Mutu want to make a comment on this. No. What of Honorable Hussein Jalo? Sir, mine is to go 
go ahead with the issue of the urgent national enclosure as raised by Mr. Jimmy Pinson on the issue of Kaduna kidnapping. You are to make a general comment yes, as sir. your input is one motion. Yes, sir. So if you want to speak on the Kaduna aspect, please go ahead. Yes, sir. It is uh, regrettable to announce that, sir, within a span of one week, we had two kidnappings in Kaduna State in the same local government area. On Sunday, on the 10th of uh, March uh, 20, 2024, about 62 people were kidnapped in a village called Buddha in uh, Kajuru local government. Then on the day before yesterday, on the 17th, another 86 people were kidnapped in a town called, village called Tantatu, within the same local government area. And then 30 people were killed, shops were ransacked, food items were stolen by the same people. It is the same, it is regrettable to, to say that even with the presence of security agencies, the House should note that 87 people, 62 people were kidnapped to unknown destination. That showed the lapses of intelligence and security gathering in this country, not only in uh, Kaduna State. The House notes that the security lapses as witnessed in Kaduna. A few weeks ago, it happened in Binongwari. It happened recently in Chikun. Now it is Kaduna local government. The House resolves to direct the security agencies to immediately rescue these kidnapped two children with immediate effect. effect. The House resolves to direct the committees on Army, Police, National Intelligence to do profile investigation and rescue the kidnapped people. Thirdly, the Committee on Compliance to ensure compliance with immediate effect. Thank you, sir. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Aye. No, Mr. Speaker. You want to? Yes, sir. OK. Uh, I gave you the opportunity, yeah, and you seconded. <laughs> I told I'm sorry, you, um, Mr. Speaker. Francis A. Girogane, YVS. My name, I represent the entire people of Uwele North. Uwele South, where the event happened, and uh, will do. Mr. Speaker, I joined the mover of the motion to condemn in the most uh, strongest term the killing of our military personnel. It's something that should not be tolerated anywhere, and the perpetrators must be brought to book. I agree with the prayers that uh, the event, the sad occurrence should be investigated, except that I request that the House Committee on Defense lead that process. The House Committee on Defense should lead that process. I also request, Mr. Speaker, my people are currently displaced. They are in the bush. Nobody is in the house in that community. The community has been raised down and people are dying out of hunger, and the ones that were seen had been uh, killed. There's a need for intervention on humanitarian grounds. While the culprits have been uh, investigation, we bring out the real perpetrators of this uh, sad occurrence, innocent civilians, innocent law-abiding citizens of this country, who happen to come from a Kwama community should not be made to suffer. Many people have not seen their parents and loved ones for a long time. I want to amend the prayers to say that Nema should intervene and bring succor. And that the Committee on Defense should spearhead the investigation to get the culprits. I appeal to my people and our neighbors, with whom we've had the problems in the last number of years, simple land dispute. I appeal for peace, for calm from all sides. And I appeal to our military in the face of this huge provocation to please uh, uh, ob 
observe some uh, international protocol and human and stop the uh, current burning going on in the community so that investigations can go on and the real culprits are apprehended and brought before uh, justice. So I have uh, amended the prayers, sir, for NEMA intervention and for the Committee on Defense to lead the investigation and that uh, relief be given to our people on both sides of the river because it's a river that separates both communities. Uh, I believe by God's grace, those who carried out this barbaric, inhuman act will be fished out and brought to book. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chair. Um, I think we can go ahead and put the question. Okay, Orobo Mutu. We have already gotten this. He seconded already earlier. Uh, only, only amend, okay, the amendment. Okay, please go ahead and uh, second the amendment. So sorry. Mutu Nicholas Ebomo is my name. I represent Bomondi Patani Federal Constituency from Delta State. I rise to second the amendment made by my brother, Abu Francis Wai. I still second. Those in support of this amendment should say aye. Those against should say nay. The eyes have it. Those in support of this motion as amended should say aye. aye. Those against should say nay. The eyes have it. This uh, motion is referred to the committees on defense, army, police, and national intelligence for further legislative action. Shall we rise for a minute silence in honor of the deceased? the soul of the departed recipes. Honorable colleagues, before we proceed on the next uh, item on our agenda, my pleasure to make some additional announcements. The first one is coming from the clerk of the House, and it is to inform honorable members that the ad hoc committee to access and fix abundant federal government projects across the country, constituted on Tuesday, 12 March 2024, is hereby reconstituted to add the name of Honorable Dr. Adebay Samuel Adeshola as a member, and equally renamed the ad hoc committee to be known as ad hoc committee to access abundant federal government projects across the country by way of corrigendum. Does uh, anyone to, secure, uh, to move for this so that we can make corrections accordingly? Yes, Honorable. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My name is Akiti Nero Timi Jr., uh, and I represent the good people of Akiti North, one federal constituency comprising uh, Ikole and Oye local government. Mr. Speaker, I rise to uh, move the motion uh, for the corrigendum to be um, adopted uh, as an act of this House, Mr. Speaker. Any seconda? Any seconda to this? Yes, uh, Honorable. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Engineer Satoni Ahmed, representing Jerry Federal Constituency. I rise to second motion moved by Honorable Rotimi to add and amend the setup of the committee. I so second. Those in support of this motion should say aye. Those against should say nay. The ayes have it. 
The second announcement is coming from um, the deputy speaker, who is the chairman of the House Committee on uh, Constitutional Review. And the announcement is in respect of um, a meeting, committee's meeting meeting with its consultants, which has been scheduled to take place as follows. Today, Tuesday, 19, 19th March, 2024, time 3 p.m., and the uh, venue is uh, meeting room 447, House of Representatives, New Wing. So all members of the committee are advised to attend. Uh, the next uh, announcement is coming from Honorable Akitunde Rotimi, Jr., and is a respect of a person onto the glory of the pra traditional ruler in Ekiti North, one federal constituency. And the message reads as follows. It is with heavy heart that I rise to inform this honorable house of the passing of a revered traditional ruler, His Royal Highness Oba Lukman Adyoshala Ojo Fadipe, Are Nibiowo Tu Owa Olatanka the third, the Owa of Atan Ayebaju, within my constituency of Ekiti North, one federal constituency. Oba Lukman Adeshala Ojo Fadipe was not just a monarch, but also a pillar of wisdom, a custodian of tradition, a unifying force within the Ayeba Jew community. His contributions to our constituency and his commitment to the welfare of his people will forever be cherished and remembered. In light of this great loss, I humbly request the solidarity of this esteemed house to join in prayers for the peace, peaceful response, repose of his soul. Additionally, I propose that this house observe a minute silence as a mark of respect for his life and his invaluable contributions to our community. I trust that this house will join me in mourning the passing of this distinguished traditional ruler and in honoring his memory. Thank you for your attention to this matter. You are sincerely signed. Rev. Akintunde Rotimijinio, member representing Ekiti North One, Ikole Oye, Federal Constituency, and the House Spokesman and Chairman Media and Public Affairs Committee. The last but not the least is also another announcement coming from Honorable Adediji Sale Olajide, member representing Ibada Northwest. Ibadan Southwest Federal Constituency of Oyo State. And the message uh, is in respect of the death of Senator Lake and Balogun, the Olubadon of Ibadan land, and the need to commemorate his life and contributions. The message reads as follows. On the 15th of March, 2024, the heartbreaking news was delivered of the passing of Senator Lake and Balogun the Imperial Majesty Oba Olopadon of Ibada land. As a distinguished member of the legislative body, Senator Balogong championed numerous landmark legislations 